All right, new kids on the block, October 13th, Javi.com Arena. The new kids on the block uh, tour, you Donnie. Pulled out all the stuff on that one, huh? What's up, man? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm a little bummed that we didn't have a clip from the Sixth Sense or Boomtown or Ransom. Nah. Hey. Dude, that's Boomtown. Right. That's- yeah. I don't, know if, I don't know if that constitutes new kids. Yeah, but it's Donnie Wahlberg and Boomtown kicked ass, dude. That was a great show. Oh, uh, thanks. And that well, was I some intense, it. dude. It was intense acting on your part, man. I remember those scenes, man. That was good stuff. Thank you. It was a good time. It was a good time. So well, well, look at you guys back together again after all this time. I actually didn't ever think that that was going to happen. Uh, I don't know if I thought it was either. <laughs> to be honest with you. I know when I was shooting Boomtown and The Sixth Sense and doing all these movies and stuff, I wasn't really thinking much about it. Um, but, you know, I never closed my mind to it. You know, I, I just I just always knew if we were ever going to do it again, it would have to be the right time. It would have to be about music. You know, we'd have to do it, you know, for the right reasons. I wasn't going to go off and do a reality show reunion and, you know, all this sort of typical stuff. I just, I really would want it to be about, you know, making an album first and making music and, and, and doing something, you know, that would really, you know, represent who we are and, and be something really good for the fans. You know what's cool is like back in the day, you know, like when I was a kid, probably the same age you are watching watching you on MTV, I always wanted to, like, I, you know, with my Johnny Depp phase where I wanted to be 21 Jump Street, and then it was like uh, I always wanted to be you in the video because you had the cool jeans. Yeah. Your, your jeans were all torn up. They might have been cool for about two weeks. No way, dude. Those jeans are still cool. <laughs> they're, they're one of those things that I look back on and kind of scratch my head. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Hey, now, we're, <laughs> we're in a little bit of a dilemma because we have you booked through however we booked you uh, for, to promote the show and everything. But now, are you, are you also calling for Who Do You Know? Well, you know, I, I, it's funny. Um, my, my cousins uh, live in, in, in Gilbert. Um, and they, one of them just graduated from high school. Her name is Becky Buendia. And she called, she wrote me an email asking me, uh, as well, tell me about the, who do you know? And I said, I'm going to call in, uh, for you. And, uh, ironically, you know, I got the call to talk to you guys today about, uh, you know, just, just do the interview. And I said, oh man, I got to call them about the, who do you know? So I think that it, counts. It, it's sort of all working out. Hopefully, uh, I think I'm going to still have to call on the side for her, but, uh, that's what I think. She definitely yeah. knows me. She's definitely a very close cousin of mine. She she's she babysits one of my kids. She's the best, and she's she's you know nobody deserves to win a contest more than her because she's one of the greatest kids you'll ever meet. Well, let me tell you something. I think that it's only fair since you were booked through however we booked you through that you do call back. Maybe you call back in ten minutes, or maybe you call back Monday morning. But I mean, having Donnie Wahlberg call for you is pretty damn big, man. That's a, that's a pretty strong cred right there. But you got to call back one more time. It's only fair. It's not fair to everybody else if we had booked you through. Uh, I'm gonna do it the fair way. I'm gonna yeah. do it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play by the rules. But you know, I, I gotta. I gotta lay the case for her now because she's she's one of the greatest kids you know you'll ever meet, and nobody deserves anything more than her. Okay, now on the flip side, <laughs> listen to this. My favorite song, and I'm not kidding you. Of all time, of all time, it's in my iPod. I think it's the greatest workout song. I think it, it's "Good Vibrations" by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. And dude, tell me, are you not Donnie D on the backup? I am Donnie D on the backup. Dude, that is the greatest song of all time. Oh man, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, that's my first. Number one record that I wrote, and uh, it's actually the second number one record that I produced, but it's certainly one of the songs I'm most proud of in my life that I ever did. And, you know, we had your brother on uh, with us not that long ago, and we were asking about the song. You know, he, he was really cool about it. And, it's fun, in fact, because you know how they people they patch people through and they say, don't talk about Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. And I'm like, dude, that's like my favorite song. I mean, dude, I even got his, you know, the other, um, you got to believe. So, uh he actually somehow it came up, and uh, he was really cool talking about. It. He talked about how his buddies he was going to go work out at a gym recently, and uh, his friends had it all set up to play as he walked in the gym to work out. And he was like, yeah, "It is a pretty good workout song." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you know, Mark, Mark, you know, I think, uh, you know, sometimes the message gets lost in translation. I think early on in his acting career, you know, he he really didn't want to talk about the music stuff, uh, you know, just so people would take him serious as an actor. I, mean, I think sometimes that message still gets passed on, but, I mean, if he's still worried about that stuff, uh, about being taken serious as an actor, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's confused because no one's going to be taken more serious than him. But, uh, you know, me personally, I mean, I, you know, I've had people, I've done many interviews as an actor as well, and, you know, and 
people will always say, do you not want to talk about it? Do you want to talk about it? And for me, it's always just it's part of who I am. You know, it's like uh, I actually, I liked, you know, when the New Kids stuff would come up when I was, when was doing stuff as an actor because when, when you do an interview, for if I'm doing an interview for a movie like The Sixth Sense and, or Boomtown or Band of Brothers and people are saying, hey, you know, it's incredible work, it's a great project, blah, 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 you know, I, I always wanted to bring up the new kids because I think, you know, it's like, all right, my, my attitude is always, all right, trust me on this one. I know there are times when the new kids were cheesy, but if you think I'm smart enough or good enough to be associated with something like this, then you got to give me a little credit that I know what I'm doing with the new kids and that, you know, if we ever get it back together, it's going to be right, you know, and uh, now that, now that, you know, we get to call a few more of the shots, I think, you know, we're going to do a little bit different this time and I think it's going to be a much, much better and much more special. Hey, how did you for six cents? Because you looked, you looked so different. I mean, I remember at the end when the credits oh, rolled, it was like, yeah. oh my God, it's Donnie Wahlberg in six cents. Did you like lose like a, a bunch of weight? I mean, did you starve yourself because you looked so different? Yeah, I really had no idea what I was doing. I just knew that I wanted to lose some weight for the part and look, you know, like someone who'd been doing drugs and been really tortured and stuff. And uh, I, I just. I, I was really out of control and had no concept of what I was doing. I, I would literally fast for two and three days at a time. What? Jeez, Louise. Yeah, what's that? Jeez, that's two and three days, nothing? No, just water? Just water, yep. Yeah. And then I would do, like, beet juice in the mornings and, like, a half a protein shake and, you know, steamed vegetables or something like that. I mean, it was, it was, I had no idea what I was doing, and, you know, it took me a long time to sort of recuperate from that. I mean, I, I was probably six months after that movie still... Had a really low weight, not really know what I was doing, you know, trying to, you know, work out. And yeah, I, I really had no clue what I was doing. I was very lucky. I didn't hurt myself uh, really bad after that. Did you have any idea uh, that the mo what the movie was about at the end? Because your scene was in the beginning. Did you know about Bruce Willis being dead and the big shock at the oh, end? Oh, no. I, I, knew, I knew the movie you know, inside and out. I mean, I read the script and I was blown away by it. I mean, I, I thought it was, I read it. I was blown away by it. I thought it was the best thing I'd ever read, but I also didn't see a part from me in the movie. But the director, you know, was interested in meeting with me, and I was like, yeah, I want to meet this guy. You know, I was actually going to ask him if I could, like, produce it as a play or something, like in a small theater, so I could play Bruce Willis's part, you know. And uh, Oh, interesting. He, yeah, he, he, he was so taken by how much I knew about the script and how much I got it and how, you know, in love with the script I was that he uh, he's started, you know, looking for parts that I could play, and he suggested the opening part, which was actually written for a 14-year-old kid, and I said, you know what, I said, if you think, you know, I could pull off, you know, playing 18, 19, 20, you know, I'll, I'll transform myself and, and become this guy, and, uh, and he took a shot on me, and, uh, you know, thank goodness, because it, it really, really opened a lot of doors for me as an actor. Hey, so the new kids on the block show is October thirteenth, Jobbing Duck Com Arena. I, I'm not sure when tickets go on sale. Oh, tickets go on sale this no, no, weekend. No, no, I'm saying we you can't buy them yet, but we have. Oh, we have. Pair to give away, we to we give have away. a pair to give away. Yep, just got the green light. Oh, we just go. Wow, well, sweet. We got a pair uh, to give away. Eight seven seven nine three seven one zero four seven. We'll do the color fourteen. See uh, new kids on the block. Uh, Donnie, can we get you to hold on? because we got to get info from your niece about your niece and stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm here, man. Oh, hey, wait, I, I, to I, I gotta tell you this though, real quick too. Okay, again. Good Vibration, my favorite song. Did you know? Did you know that your brother was a Jeopardy question? Uh, no, but I know the new kids were a Jeopardy question once. What was the Marky Mark Jeopardy question? I have it here. This singer-actor had good vibrations with the Funky Bunch in the 1990s. Craig. Who is Marky Mark? Yes. <laughs> no. Isn't that wild? Nice. That's pretty huge. That's wild, man. Anyway, nice. Donnie. I think we had one of us. Who, who, uh, what? Something about the right stuff, and it was Vanessa Williams and New Kids both had a song called oh, The Right Stuff. Nicely done. You have this uh, unbelievable relationship the New Kids do, do I, I think, especially with the East Coast. Have you noticed it being a little more rabid on the East Coast than anywhere else? Um... Well, New York's always been the craziest place for us to go, I mean, honestly. But um, I think we got a lot of love in the West Coast, too. I mean, L.A. has always been incredible, and Arizona's always been great. I mean, we, we have some great memories playing in Phoenix and stuff. And, uh, I mean, you know, I think uh, I think we started the tour in the East Coast, you know, just because we didn't want to, you know, bite off more than we could chew. You know, there, there's really no telling what the reaction was going to be from the fans, you know. Um, I mean, the way they've reacted has been incredible. 
it's it's been very overwhelming to be honest with you. I mean, we sold out Boston Garden twice. We sold out three shows in the New York area. We sold out Canada. I mean, we sold out in four minutes in the Air Canada Center, which is twenty thousand people. I mean, it's just it's been incredible. But I I really think the fans all over it's the West Coast and and the South and and the and the the uh, the uh, Northwest have all reacted by saying, you know, hey, you sold all over the East Coast. What about us? So you know, we're rolling out, and um, I, I think. You know, we. I can't wait to play out west. I mean, I, I honestly, Phoenix is one of my favorite cities, so I'm um, I'm looking forward to getting out there and playing. I always go see the Celtics out there. I got a lot of friends there um, in in Arizona, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there and playing there. Well, you got family here. Yeah, absolutely. I got family, and uh, I got a, one of my dear friends, Jimmy Walker, is a, is a well known, well respected guy in the, in the Phoenix community. And um, Jimmy uh, Walker. We know Jay Dunn. My man. Wow, yeah, we know him. We always uh you know, hang it do the uh the, the charity thing with him with Muhammad Ali. Absolutely, the the celebrity fight night. And yeah. uh, I've been there and I, I hope to be there again this year. Wow. All right, Donnie, hold on a line. We'll get some info so we can uh, get your niece registered and hopefully you're gonna call back for the contest officially, okay? You got it. Hold on, it's Donnie Wahlberg uh, tickets. Thanks. Uh let's see. oh hey, pick up Tanya and Glendale, Rich. Tanya, what's up? Hey, um I can I won tickets in 1990. And guess what? For, for their show. And and are you guys serious? I just won now. You just won right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't even buy the tickets yet. You're the first person to get tickets. Oh, my God. I'm freaking out. <laughs> get control of yourself. Woman. You're going to you see so Donnie. wants to calm down there. That's good. Donnie and New Kids on a Block. I'm so excited for this concert. I'm going to plan my life around this concert. Not as excited as her. All right, Tanya, hold on the line. We get some information, but you definitely won the first pair of tickets. New kids have got some power, don't they? Yeah. <laughs>